In today's episode of A Buster's Theory, you'll be imagining a different dimension of what if there are cross operator deployment. In the previous episode of the driver's seat, we talked about cross region deployment. However, have we imagined what if there's cross operator deployment? It is infrequent in the history book of the Singapore bus industry, but it happened twice. If you can remember when it happened, it is back in 2012 and 2016 as an individual cases. In 2012, the PRC bus captains is SMRT were on strike about the low pay salary and the unfair culture in the work environment. Quite many bus services will be delayed due to this. And this is when a few bus captains from SBS Transit and other bus drivers from various private bus operators help out and use the SMRT buses split to carry on with the daily SMRT bus service operation. In 2016, 40 bus captains from both SMRT buses driving service 85, SBS Transit operating services downing 358 at 359 under the hands of Go Ahead. They also borrowed bus captains from Tower Transit to drive the employee shuttle bus to and from Loyang Depot and various neighborhoods of Singapore. The cause of this mess is the confusion of the scheduling system. A continuous 5 hours driving without bed time and too much interlining in one shift. It results in an immediate mass resignation, which after the first handover of the bus package. Only SMRT and SBS Transit bus captains driven go ahead bus speed while Tower Transit used their fleet for the employee shuttle. Both cases were mainly is the cause of the work environment. So it is rare for cost operator deployment to happen again. However, using their bus fleet to help out, not going to happen. It's the number of the bus captains that left, not the buses themselves. LTA will not be pleased about this, especially using a different bus fleet from others, like an SBS Transit Scania KUB on Tower Transit Service AA2, under the one motoring or OM registration, as Omnibus, you only operate that bus fit into a respective bus operator and not a crossover. If this happens again, the bus captain is usually the first to use the affected bus operator's bus fleet. So we can say that it can happen. With the bus contracting model, every bus operator has the same procedure under the law. With everything that has been standardized, it operates into one system as a whole. Remember that whichever your work will force under one method, which is LTA. In a different dimension, if cross operator deployment with cross bus fleet happens, it is two things. Only LTA have to decide to make a move. The old buses such as the U3, U4, and U5 Scania KUB will not be able to operate as it is under the essence of SBS Transit. Only LTA asset buses are allowed to do so. However, talking about bus contracting model, it may never happen. Would you like to see a bus model doing a bus service that ran by a different bus operator? Leave your comment down below. Thanks for watching.